So today I'm gonna react to this video, Mr. Beast. Um, yeah, he's building wells in Africa. Apparently, hundred wells. So I'm a Sarah, I'm a, I'm an African based in South Africa. So let's get into the video. This is the first of a hundred wells we're gonna build in this video. Oh, what a You just witnessed a small village in Kenya get access to unlimited clean drinking water in less than a second. One down, 99 more wells in Africa to go. You're gonna love this video. Combined, these 100 wells are gonna give around half a million people fresh water to drink. And after building some more wells on this side of Kenya, we flew south to the school system of Nairiri. And let's just say they were really happy to see us. How's it going? It's not expecting this. Thank you for the welcome. I'm not even sure how to react. <laughs> I appreciate it, everybody. This village threw a welcome ceremony upon our arrival, and Nolan got really into it. Nolan's the most awkward person I've ever met, and that's a lot coming from me. And after being shown around the school, here comes our guest. How's it going? Are oh, you having a good day? It's nice meeting you. One of the teachers showed me where the students currently get their water, which is from this river. That's extremely unsafe to drink. This is where your students used to. True. This water is, is extremely dirty. It's so unhealthy. It's really sad that people drink water from wells like this in other countries while this government there. Man, so sad. See your water from? Yes. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, students complaining of diarrhea, infections like typhoid, because this is the water we've been using. So yeah. we try to treat, but you see, look at it, it, you know, but at the end of the day, life. Ah. They, are, they are using the water for real. Like, wow, okay. They are really using the water and drinking the water. This kind of water. Here, no man. First to move on, you have to get some water anyway. This situation is obviously extremely sad. These children's lives are being limited and sometimes cut short from being forced to drink unsafe water. But at least for this village, we're gonna put an end to it right now. I don't think this John's gonna fit. <laughs> big Let's see if we can find some water. Beautiful. After the water comes out of the ground, it's fed into enormous barrels like this one. And once they're built into the water towers, all of the neighboring villages will not only have clean drinking water, but a pressurized water source as well, which in short means no more doing laundry and unsafe water. And boom, on a scale of one. Imagine a, a YouTuber doing this for the country, not even the government or the rich people in this country or whatever a youtuber and my, a lot of people might complain and say why this guy is a youtuber he's not in government he's he's not a politician he's just a youtuber he makes um videos for a living and then he makes fun videos for people to enjoy so this is fun for him this is part of what he does a lot of people might complain are you exposing africa why are you doing this i mean he's a youtuber man what what do you expect from a youtuber He's not a politician. He's doing good for the community. I mean, good for these African countries and also good for his YouTube channel. So it's gain gain on both sides. He's making money out of this and then he's also spending money helping people. So it's an investment in a way. So to whoever, to whoever who's gonna complain, let me not swear. Under Nolan's mom, how heavy is it? Nolan's mom times two. Oh God. Dude, I'll push you off of this. <laughs> Whoa. All right, here we go, under control. We built 20 more wells in Kenya, and after we were done... Bro has another well in here. Don't worry, I have more water <laughs> in my other shoe. Shit. Oh, 
And just so you know how we built these first 29 wells, we used this giant drill to dig hundreds of feet into the ground, past the polluted sources, and into an enormous aquifer of pure drinkable water. After that- Um, quick question. Why did he get all the material to build all these wells he's gonna build in Africa, in these African countries? Then if it's possible that like, he's getting this material he's using all of them in these african countries then we have all the material to use in order for us to do this he didn't bring any material from africa from america he's using our own material in our own continent so we have material we have the resources to do this we're just not doing it i don't know it's up for debate that we spent time installing pipes so that people all around Africa can access water from spigots like this one in Nairobi. Let's see how it tastes. Nairobi. It's not a Nairobi. It's Nairobi. Like water. It took me about a minute to fill this five gallon drum. How much water can this provide a day? 3,600 gallons a day. Not only will this well cover the 400 kids at this school, but literally the entire neighborhood and village around this school can use this well. We say thank you for the water. Oh, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> this thing can basically pump nonstop for 30 years. You would think that having an effect of this magnitude would require the resources and funding of a large government, but that's not true. Solving this problem is possible and something humanity should all be putting effort in to fix. What's the secret of success? To be honest, just find something you love doing and do it for a long period and eventually you'll succeed. So I'm gonna... I think in America, the, the, the advice he just gave, find something you love doing and then just doing for the longest of time, then you'll succeed in, 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 in Africa, it's hard for that. In America, yeah, there are a lot of opportunities. In, in, in Africa, it's hard to do what you love and then become successful at it. You end up doing what you not love because of money. We need money. Yeah, anyway, let's continue. I'm gonna bring it super close. See us? Is that cool? If you look up, it's recording. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get close. I need this, man. I need a drone, man. I need, I really need a drone. I need to buy one. Yeah. Someone donate a drone for me, please. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can see yourself. We were also able to install a well for this village and this village and these 12 other villages. And while we were finishing these wells, we were also able to That's update one of their schools with brand new computers. How are they liking it? They really like, they like them. Glad to see it turned out well. And we also updated the classrooms with new furniture, installed shelves and filled them with new books, donated a soccer ball for every student. <laughs> and even put modern whiteboards and projectors in all the classrooms. Do you guys like the projector? Yes. <laughs> we were using a chalk and yeah. then a lot of dust, but today everything is clean. We truly appreciate it. No problem. It's the least we could do. But then when we flew out to the side of the 45th well, we realized this community had it even harder. Every time they need to get water, they need to take a treacherous mile long hike through the jungle. And that mile long hike also happens to be on a giant mountain. I wake up very early, about four o'clock, so that I can fetch water for the school. We are not safe fetching water here. That place is very slippery. Chances of getting an injury is very high. So while we worked on their well, the community took me to see how they currently source their water. You guys would have to make this trip how many times a day? Two times. Two times a day. Oh, wow. So a typical student would carry something like this? Yeah. Oh, God. If 200 students did this every day, how hard could it be? It could be very hard. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Dang, this is very steep. Which is walking down this mountain forever <laughs> every day it was actually surprising how difficult this hike was and these people go through all of that just to get to the spigot that's water is still unsafe to drink this is where you guys get your water from normally yes and filled with water these jugs can weigh up to 40 pounds which is insane for these children to be carrying up this mountain the ladies can carry two of those oh I totally can as well, then. And as soon as these jugs were filled, it was time to head all the way back up. Hurry up, let's go. He's not even sweating or anything. I got it, I got it. <laughs> and now, instead of spending hours a day for unsafe water, their new well is only 10 feet away from the school. So, they can just fill it up here now. <sighs> I'm too tired. And so, we were on our way to the next village. Where yeah, no. This is really nice. What Mr. Beast is doing is nice, yeah. Oh. 
it's it's emotional it's hard to mean i mean you could see like people were suffering they didn't have water and then as a youtuber he came in and then did this well it's a government's role to do but a youtuber came and did it wow okay beautiful where we built our 46 well, but we ran into a little problem. We found out that this village is divided in half by this huge dangerous river. Mm. It may not look like much now, but when the rainy season comes, the water comes up this high and literally swallows this bridge. And why this bridge is such a big deal is the village is over there, the hospital in- Hey man, why didn't you come to South Africa? I also need those wells, eh? I don't care what our government says, they ain't, they ain't doing anything. Even though they do something, they never do it like the way you would do it. So, please, man, we need Wi Fi. We need free Wi Fi in our crown too. Fast internet and water, obvious. And schools are over there. So, they're crossing this bridge multiple times a day. Despite how dangerous this bridge is, it's their only option. This river, when it is swollen, it can sweep away people, students, or even animals. In the recent past, we have lost about 30 people trying to cross this river. This loss of life is insane. And I'm so amazed that these African countries are so green. The, tre the, the trees, the grass, it's like they're so green. It's not like a desert, like. You can tell that the soil is fertile, the, the plants are so green, healthy. It's beautiful. I didn't know it's like this in, I'm in South Africa. I've never been out of, outside of South Africa. So I fought in other African countries. It, it's so dry, but it's not dry. You can see it's so green. It's nice. It means the land is healthy absolutely unacceptable the moment we heard about this we knew we had to help so while we started work on a new bridge that would let them reach their well we then traveled over 2,000 miles from kenya to the country of zimbabwe we've been in africa for over a week and we still have a zimbabwe. lot more wells to do yeah. you kind of smell i know it's weird i showered this morning <laughs> wow yeah <laughs> if you let me finish i can put my arms down can i count on you two to finish these wells with me yes 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 yes, yes. Yeah. first on the agenda was to check out a local hospital that was in dire need of clean water upon entering we learned how big of an impact this clinic had on the village. How many kids do you guys give birth to a year here? In a month, about 15. Two, 600 births a year? <laughs> wow. But unfortunately, the pregnant mothers at this clinic have to walk over a mile just to get water and then carry these heavy buckets all. Did you guys see what she did? Like she's stepping into the water and then she's going to drink the same water where she's stepping in. Yeah, okay, but the water is dirty in Water And then carry these heavy buckets all the way back. However, the good news is we paid for the construction of a new modern well for them. All that needed to be done now was to turn it on. When you need an all-in-one camera drone with cutting-edge performance, but every gram of weight counts. All right, Nolan, are you ready? I'm ready. Over. Let me get a dramatic zoom in. Nolan, I pressed the button. Is it working? It's flowing. Oh. <laughs> do we want to go check it out? Yes. Right, so let's do it. To anyone who's going to hate this video, who's going to discriminate this video, who's going to hate what Mr. Discriminate what Mr. Beast is doing. I'm going to say in a very respectful, nice manner, F you. For those who don't get it, forget about it. But F you to those who, who going to be toxic and say a lot of things about what Mr. Beast is doing to this. This, this is hitting no one. He's building well, and he's a YouTuber. It's beautiful. You can see these people needed these things. So don't bring your negative, whatever, whatever. Just keep it to yourself.
how people are immediately just getting water right now. This is easily the coolest thing ever. Now, Nolan here is a professional dancer. Yeah. He will join. How do I always end up dancing? What is he doing? <laughs> oh, gosh. I, I, I won't make you watch this anymore. Besides ensuring access to clean water, a lot of the students at this village lack transportation. So we decided to give all of them new bicycles. <laughs> I know it looks like a lot of kids, but we bought a lot of bikes. Full disclosure, I don't know how to ride a bike. Jimmy only knows how to give away bikes. Never learned how to ride one. Let's break in all the new bicycles. Three, two, one, go. Oh, everyone's passing me. Be careful, I don't know how to ride a bike. I don't want to hit anyone. You want to ride it? <laughs> All right, go for it, little man. OK. And after giving away the bikes, we continue building wells until we reach well number 69. This solar powered well is. Yeah, those are those are those are a lot of wells. That's a lot. Hundred wells in different countries. That's a lot. Sure. I wonder what, what was the structure he's using, like he's hiring local companies to build the wells or. I don't know, but doesn't matter. Specially designed to aid the farmers in this village by providing more than enough water for all of their crops and livestock, even during the dry season without any electricity. Each panel is 200 watts. Then it's attached to a pump. That pump can pump 5,000 liters every hour. Basically, it's unlimited amount of water for this entire village. That's incredible. Zimbabweans are very clever, very intelligent, very mature because we have a lot of them here in South Africa. Those guys are smart, man. Zimbabweans are smart. Just that their government is fucked up. Their education is top notch. They're smart, those guys. And after we left Zimbabwe, we wanted to continue to give water to communities all across Africa. So we built more wells in Uganda, Somalia, and Cameroon. If you want to see more of what we did in Cameroon, there's a whole video about that coming soon on the Philanthropy Channel. Spending time in these villages really made me reflect on the importance of building wells, how it brings water to farms to feed the hungry, how it provides clean conditions for hospitals, and most importantly, how it helps the children of this next generation live long, healthy lives and build the future for all of these communities. We await a new dawn of clean drinking water. Water is life. And with some help from the locals, we finally finished a new bridge that this community can use for the next 100 years. Lives have been saved. Families will come together. The worries will be gone. The 100 wells we built in this video will change a lot of lives but not enough. Which is why before you go, I want to urge you all to go to beastphilanthropy.org slash wells or click the link in the description and donate money if possible. We're literally not profiting a dime. OK, I'm going to end the video here. I'm just going to give my two cent feedback on what I think. I think what he did is great. Um, a lot of government in our African countries, it can take them like more than 20 years to do what he did in a very short space of time. It's beautiful. He helped a lot of people, a lot of young kids. I know there's going to be a lot of um, negativity around what he did, but According to me, it's beautiful. God is going to bless him for what he did. To God, this is a very beautiful move in helping people who are in need. So this is beautiful. Big up, Mr. Beast. Big up. Um, end of the video. Please subscribe, Um, like, comment, share. Get me to 1K subscri subscribers so I can be monetized also. Yeah. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Uh,